Hello viewers, I am Muhammad Ali and you are watching my channel Formulations. Today in this video, I will try to make you learn that what is the concept of polarization, what is a polarized wave, what is unpolarized wave and I will show you brief animations so that you can understand polarization in an extraordinary way. So first of all, here you can see a slide that plane of vibration. What is a plane of vibration? First of all, what is vibration? The to and fro motion of a body about a fixed point is called a vibration. Now the body, if it is vibrating in a vertical line, then it will be named as a vertical plane of vibration. And if a body will be rotating in a horizontal plane, it will be named as a horizontal plane of vibration. So, in order to proceed forward to understand the concept of polarization, you need to understand basic concept. What was vibration? It was the to and fro motion of a body about a fixed position. What is plane of vibration? For example, an electron in a wire is oscillating in this formation, then it will be named as a vertical plane of vibration. And if an electron in a wire is oscillating in this manner, then it will be named as a horizontal plane of vibration. Let's move forward. So, an, a vibrating electron will create an electromagnetic wave. Let it be that wave, so that single wave is having a vertical plane of vibration. Similarly, this wave is having a horizontal plane of vibration. So, what will be a polarized light? Stick to this definition. A wave which contain only one single plane of vibration is called a polarized wave. Re repeat it again and again so that you will never forget what is polarization and what is a polarized light. Remember, a wave which contain only one single plane of vibration. One single plane means either it must be a vertical plane of vibration or either it must be a horizontal or any other else but it must be in one dimension. Next. So you need to remember the mechanical transverse wave in which a rope is oscillating up and down in a vertical plane or left or rightward in a horizontal plane. So you have to remember again that one single plane vibrational wave can be considered as a polarized wave. Similarly, the horizontally polarized wave and now come to this point. If we have more than one plane of vibration in a wave, like here are both vertical and horizontal, both vertical and horizontal component of waves, then this is not a polarized wave. This will be an unpolarized wave or unpolarized light. So a light that contain all possible planes of vibrations is an unpolarized light. For example, light from simple incandescent bulb or energy saver is an unpolarized light. In unpolarized light, electrons are oscillating in all possible planes of vibrations. And here is another animation. One electron is oscillating in vertical plane. One is oscillating in a horizontal plane. Two electrons are oscillating in left and right diagonal planes. So you can see that here in this light source, all electrons are oscillating in all possible planes of vibration. So in all these planes of vibrations, it will give us a light, a light containing electric field components in all possible, all possible directions. We are not considering here magnetic components. In polarization, whenever you teach polarization, you just need to consider the electric field components of the light. So that black dot is a light source, for example, and these E vectors are showing the possible vibration of electrons in a light source. Horizontal plane, vertical plane, diagonal plane and the whole light contain all possible planes of vibration. Now how we can make this light, this unpolarized light, a polarized light. So further in this part of the video, I will show you just the animation. As the animation do not require a lot of explanations, but the visuals of the animation will make you understand that what is the meaning of polarization. So let's move towards the first animation. Viewers, 
Here you can you can see so many colors, so many light vibrational planes, a light containing all possible planes of vibrations. And in front of the light we have placed some polarizing filters. These bars are the resembling conception of polarizing filters. Here you can see that the light coming out of first polarizer is having only one single vertical plane of vibration. And if I change the angle of this polarizing filter, you can see that only one single plane of vibration light is coming out from that polarizing filter. It means from all other possible planes of vibration, the polarizing filter will allow only one single plane coming out of it. So if I keep on rotating from vertical, it become horizontal. Here you can see it's a horizontal plane. It will become vertical. It will give us a vertical plane of vibration of light. So just let me identify you. This portion of light is unpolarized light and this portion of light is polarized light. We can completely block the light by adjusting two polarizing filters perpendicular to each other. For example, this one polarizing filter is exactly at zero degree or vertical. And if I make the next second polarizing filter at an angle of 90 degrees here, you can see that this polarizer is exactly perpendicular to the previous polarizing. And you can see that first polarizer is making it a vertically polarized, is making it horizontally polarized. So no light is coming out of the polarized glass if both the polarizing filters are exactly at, exactly at angle of 90 degrees. Now let's move towards another animation. Now in this second animation, you can see that a light is having two electrical components perpendicular to each other, one green component of vibration and one yellow component of vibration. So you can see it from different dimensions. One is vertical and one is horizontal. Again, the same example, if we place one polarizing filter, a polarizing filter containing only vertical plane of polarization. So out of two planes, only one single plane is allowable to pass through that filter. And now if I make it horizontal, only the yellow component of light is able to pass through this polarizing filter. So make it vertical. And now we can place the second filter here. And even we can rotate it, it about that plane of polarization. So you can see the light is getting circularly polarized. If I revolve it with a constant velocity, let's watch it from another perspective. If I keep it rotating, then you can see a circularly polarized light. So it was another animation about the concept of polarization. Now let's move towards another interesting animation. Dear viewers, here you can see a digital watch showing the exact time and date when I'm recording this video. The light from the watch is already getting polarized from the glass of the watch. Now if I place another polarizing filter in front of the watch and will just rotate its plane of polarization, you can see that you are observing no light at all. What does it mean? It simply means that I have placed two polarizing filters perpendicular to each other. Now if I will rotate it again and when both the planes of vibrations will be parallel to each other, the light will be brightly coming out of the polarizing filter. And if we move towards the next animation of this type, that first of all, we have a polarizing filter from where we can see the text from the page. This filter, which I am rotating in some directions, is making the light polarized only in single plane. And if I plane another polarizing filter above it, 
and if i rotate it then you must understand that when both will be perpendicular to each other you will see no light coming behind the polarizing filter so if i again place it here you can see the light coming out of it let's place it like in some this way and if i rotate its plane of polarization you can see at exact 90 degree no light is coming out of the polarizing glass so here is the concept of polarization dear students i am hopeful that you would have understand it very well do share your comments in the video and do tell me that what kind of further animation do you want to see take care of yourself goodbye